Hi everyone, it's Bongo here from The Poultry People and today we are working on some really simple projects, some nice little stools and small tables. Not going to need many tools, I've tried to keep it as simple as possible. I've got a little list here. Let's see if we can get in. You're going to need a jigsaw. I'm trying to keep it to tools that are quite versatile and multi-use. A jigsaw is a great tool, lots of fun with it, make some great stuff with it. Drill, I'm going to go for a, a cheap corded drill for this project. I've got a screwdriver bit in it and there's a drill floating about somewhere that we might or might not use. A tape measure, a set square, 30mm and 50mm screws, some sandpaper, waterproof glue, a pencil and a handsaw. You should have a handsaw anyway, a handsaw might come in useful. Bonus tools, bonus items would be a chop saw and a trim router. Again, both of them are multi-use tools but you don't have to have them to do these. I'm using Euro pallets. You get three of these short ones, you get a couple of these long ones, and then there's also three longer, wider ones that you get as well. They're good pallets, really good solid, solid timbers, almost like redwood. If you take a look at the construction, we've got three planks running this way, and then underneath we've got three planks running that way. And then screwed to get screwed and glued together. Screws going up. They're not popping out. They're under the surface. They're just the right size to hold them together. Then four planks. There's a couple of smaller blocks on the inside as well, holding it all together. And then the same at the bottom. So disc, disc. Then a simple box. And then another couple of discs at the bottom there. And it's very solid. Here how solid it is. This disc was off one of the plywood cable reels that you find floating about that aren't really suitable. They're too thin, the water gets in them, they fall to bits. It measures, oh what's this, 35 centimeters. Which is a fairly good size, give or take a few centimetres. Maybe you can find a washing up bowl or a massive plate or something. I don't know if, I've never seen a plate that big. You'll find something or maybe even a compass, piece of string, draw a circle around. It's nice having something that's been done. This has been probably cut on the machine, a CNC machine. So I know it's a really good, good circle. You're going to need to do another four of these. So as soon as you've done your circle, draw a line across so they match up and then keep yourself on track basically. I'll start doing A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D. Keep going up through the alphabet like that and I'm not getting confused. You could clamp this down. Personally, I prefer to lean on it. And down with your elbow like that, your head's on an angle here. You can actually look in and you can see where the blade is gonna cut in on the line. Full speed, sharp blade, touch uh, a nail. The blade's blunt, throw that blade away. You can buy expensive, you can buy Bosch blade, you can buy silver line blades with £2.50, fine. Sharp, too tight a curve. Let's start. Lines line up A A B B D4 waterproof glue, don't need a lot of it really, just enough to go around the outside. Then we'll drive the screws right in under the surface so it all pulls it together. Not 
lovely all the way around. Boom, 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 boom. Locked it all together. It's a nice big. Carefully run your hands over the top. You're feeling for any screws that have come up. Hopefully your screws are the right length that they didn't come up and through. If they did come up and through, you can wait for the glue to dry and unscrew the screw from the back or you can sand over the top with a belt sander or an angle grinder and get rid of the screw heads that are sticking through. So the disc is now complete. Quite a solid piece. More sanding or this is where your trim router comes into play. It makes things a little bit easier, a little bit quicker, gives a nice semi-professional finish. The Aldi trim router with a quarter round cutting bit on it. We'll quickly run it around the outside. There we are, one disc. Crack on, make more. If you're making four of these chairs, you, you can easily another another seven of these. However, in the good old British tradition of Blue Peter, here's one I made earlier. Determine the height of your stool. You can either measure an existing chair that you have, child friendly height, 35 centimetres. These are nine centimetres, 24 centimetres. For our box, this is our off cut pieces. It's quite tricky to get a straight line with a jigsaw, but it's not impossible. You follow me, you with me, you with me. Our squares go in there. Screw that onto there, that onto there, and then we'll screw that onto there, and we'll do the we'll do, we'll do two of these onto each one. So you've ended up with two thin, two wide, two squares, or 24 centimeters, all ready to be screwed on. Don't have to sand these, do have to put a drop of glue on them. Then it's it's the end of perfectly centre as it is. Twelve, twelve and a half, twelve, twelve and a half, so half a centimetre there, way, that way. I'm just gonna switch up now so that 50 centimeter screws and these are 3.5 by 50. You don't want to be going really thick with the screws or you run the risk of splitting the timber. That'll do 12 and a half all the way around. Start off with the thin ones. We could give these a bit of a sanding now as well. Just to knock the edges off. There, should be nice and snug, really. It's pretty good. And there we are, that's pretty solid now. Put our other pieces in. You could almost say, could be finished. We've even put a little piece of wood in there and turned it into a shelf. A very small shelf, you struggle to get a can of beer in there, to tell you the truth. You, even put, you could even put hinges and put a little door on there, that'd be quite cute. A little fairy door or something. Ooh, that's a nice idea, isn't it? And it's done. Sand it more or not. Yeah, sand sand it a bit more. Get rid of some of these. Ow! Get rid of the splinters. You, you've used the jigsaw. Make more of them. Lots of repetitive cuts with the jigsaw really helps your hand eye coordination when it comes to using tools.
larger discs, same sort of thing, piece of wood screw down, then wood screwed at the side, shelf in the middle, and these here, over the front, they're, they're locking it all in place. Use nails as well on, on the front piece here. There, you can see exactly what I've done, can't you? I had really wide boards, but there's nothing to that I could, I could have said. I couldn't have used two narrow boards. Well, that to, to get the width to make, to make the variation there. Simple pallet project for you to crack on with, make some chairs for your garden, for your kids, practice with the tools, make some stuff. Anyway, there we go. Crack on, make something. Thank you very much for watching.